What's up tech fans? It's been a minute, but I'm back. Now, NVIDIA just had their first event of 2021, the Game On event, where they've introduced a lot of new stuff. DLSS games, Reflex stuff, all kinds of uh, new laptops, and a, a new video card. Now, whether it's gonna be in stock, oh, that's a whole other question altogether, but it is going to be about $329. So um, let's talk tech and let's talk NVIDIA Game On Day. Are you building a new computer or just upgrading an old one? If so, then chances are you need a new Windows 10 key. And CD key sales, they've got you covered. Buying has never been easier, and prices for Windows keys are under $20, and there's even additional discounts. All you need to do is go search for the software that you're looking for, add that software to your cart, create an account, and when you go to checkout, enter the code TT18 to get an additional 20% off. Now, let's all codes are guaranteed and you'll be up and gaming in no time. So tech fans, game on day from NVIDIA. All kinds of new products have been announced, new games have been announced, new monitors that are going to support um, all of their technologies have been announced. So it's really all in all probably a pretty big deal for NVIDIA. Now, right off the bat, I guess the really big news is in February, we're gonna see a $329 card called the RTX 3060. Now, so far all we really know is that they said it's going to completely blow away uh, a 1060. Okay, obviously, I didn't see anything really saying anything in the release about the 2060, but it said it's gonna completely blow away a 1060 by these massive numbers in NVIDIA. Man, I sure hope for Skippy's sake that it is going to be faster than a 1060. Let's hope so at $329, because uh, if that's the intro level card, that's pretty expensive for many, many people still. Now, other news is that they're going to have two different types of laptops coming out that will all be supporting the new RTX cards as well. They're going to have their gaming laptops, which now you'll obviously be able to get the RTX 3060 on, but there'll be other models available as well with the RTX 3070, 3080. But the big news is really that they're going to have a pro series of laptops as well coming out. I think there's like 70 different models that are coming out. So it's really just a total conundrum if you think about it, trying to figure out which one you want because there's 70 different models to choose from. Now I think the gaming ones are gonna be coming to market. You'll be able to get them for under a thousand dollars. The new professional series ones are gonna have 16 gigabytes of RAM like standard. They're going to have better AI. They're supposed to be great at doing rendering. You know, they're based for a person who's not only going to game, but who is actually going to be wanting to do workstation type stuff, you know, as well as being a gamer. So if you're somebody who edits videos, you're somebody who, you know, works in the industry and you need something that's, you know, somewhat pro level like a workstation, that's what these particular laptops will be geared at. And I'm interested to see what they'll be like like when they hit the market because they'll obviously be a pretty interesting product. Now, there's also a bunch of new games coming out. Currently, I guess Nvidia is saying they have 36 titles that support RTX in different ways. Now, some people might say, oh my God, that's not very many, but actually that's 40 games. That's a lot of games to choose from. Um, if you have a video card, chances are you're probably not gonna play all 40 of those games, but there's actually some new ones that are going to be coming out really soon as well. So DLSS has proven to be an essential feature for next generation games, delivering maximum frame rates to drive higher resolution and refrate rate experiences. By the way, that comes from NVIDIA. I'm just quoting what they said. Now, as far as new games that are going to be supporting DLSS, they include Call of Duty Warzone from Activision, Outriders from Square Enix and People Can Fly, Iron Conflict from Angelic Games and Imperium Interactive Entertainment, and Edge of Eternity from Midgar Studios. Now there are also some games that'll be adding both ray tracing and DLSS. 
These titles include Five Night at Freddy's, Security Breach from Steel Wool Studios, The Medium from Bloober Team, Fist, Forged in Shadow Torch from TI Games, and Bitbill. NVIDIA Reflex is a product that's geared towards professional gamers just to make sure that you get the absolute best performance, the best frame rates, and um, there's some new games that are totally supporting that. Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six and Overwatch, and there's also some new monitors that are being released that'll also work in conjunction with that technology. So if you're somebody who's a pro gamer and you wanna have that nice balance between you know being able to have your game kick butt but still be able to be very competitive, this is probably a product that you're going to be looking at. Um, something that's, that they really didn't push at all, I didn't really see them this time at all pushing is broadcast, but um, I've talked about that before in videos. I think broadcast is a really cool thing and I know a lot of people out there are using it because it just makes it really simple for you to record your games and stream your games and do all that stuff. So it's really cool. Um, there's some other interesting things. Um, they're claiming that, you know, basically the ray tracing on the new RTX 3060 is just going to be mind boggling for, you know, the price per performance ratio. So in February, we have that to look forward to. Whether it's going to be in stock, uh, that I don't know. The mining thing's always coming and going. And so all it's really done to me is pr completely sodomize all the gamers out there who, you know, now go to get a gaming car and they're like, how much is that car? Because people have drove the prices up so much doing this stuff and it is it is ridiculous. The prices are completely, you know, off the hook at this moment and that's a whole nother video in itself. But hey, this is it. The, you know, game on! It came, it went. <laughs> and a bunch of new products were released. So if you're somebody out there, you know, you've been looking to get a gaming laptop, you're an Nvidia fan, you prefer their cards, well, guess what? You'll be able to get one with an RTX 3060. If you're a professional person and you're looking for a laptop that'll do both gaming and do professional stuff, claim you'll be able to get one for under $1,000. 16 gigabytes of RAM should be able to game and do all your other stuff as well. We'll have to see when it gets here. <laughs> And that's pretty much that. I'll have links down below. So if you guys want to actually watch the complete event thing and check it out, you guys can do that. If you like the condensed version like this and you know, get the information and just digest it really quick, then we're all good to go. And we'll see you guys back on the channel. Also, if you like what you see, you like my style, I'd love to see you subbed here. Make sure you turn on that notification or you'll never know I'm making videos. Also, the best way to support my channel without spending any of your money, I have a link down below for Amazon Prime. Try it free for 30 days. They give me credit. It gives me a few bucks and helps pay the bills around here. So peace out. We'll see you back here on Tech of Tomorrow for more Tech.